First apartment. Dog named Bella. Boyfriend, TJ. With the sweet ride and the bad secrets. Exit TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Welcome to RTC TV 4's coverage of the Winnemac Warriors versus the cast in Comets. I'm Blair Zimmerman. And I'm Dakota Hayden. And we're coming to you live this evening from the WCHS Gymnasium. Now, before we go into tonight's matchup, and you may have just joined us for the Lady Comets versus the Lady Warriors matchup, but I have been handed an announcement that I've been asked to read on the air. Um, if you hear in the background, we've got the uh, Warrior Pet Band playing tonight. Um, the, uh, excuse me, the band director asked me to announce that uh, they have a goal to reestablish a community pet band. It's a very popular thing in the past, uh, encouraged by Charles Byfield and many other band directors who served before him. Uh, the plan is to have one rehearsal per month and offer the first public performance consisting of several patriotic songs immediately prior to the Independence Day fireworks in July here in uh, Winnemac. Now, doesn't matter what your high school alma mater was or your playing ability, they would like you, if you have any interest, to come and, enjoy, and join the community pep band. Anybody who's interested can contact uh, the high school office here at Winnemac High School or the band director and get more information. So, thank you so much. Sounds pretty cool. A community band, I get down for that. I seem to recall you were in band. I was in band, so it makes sense. I, on the other hand, um, my musical abilities begins and ends at playing an MP3 or maybe a CD. Sounds about right. Sounds Old about right. school enough, I can play an audio cassette. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, a couple of, uh, well, one thing to cover. Uh, if for anybody joining us who joined us previously for the Lady Comets, Lady Warriors matchup, uh, early in the game you saw Brianna Hubenthal go down hard and uh, exit the game there in the first half. I was able to speak to her mother in between the games, and um, they don't think there's any concussion. Uh, the That's headache good. has already gone away. There may be some whiplash, so um, we ought to see... Brianna playing again yet as the season continues. That's good. Um, That's good. Definitely thinking of the family and the team in that. Tonight's starting lineups are sponsored by Ace Hardware. First, All right. visiting casting comments. All right, and our starting lineups. Starting at guard, a 5 9 sophomore. Number four, Luke Lau. Number four, Luke Lau for the comments. Starting at center, a 6'5 sophomore, number 13, Hunter Shane Law. Big guy Hunter Shane Law in at center. At one forward, a 5'8 sophomore, number 33, Mike Rands. Number 33, Mike Rands. At another forward for the comments, 5'8 senior, number 20, Brady Hartman. Number 20, Brady Hartman. And at guard, a 5'8 senior, number 23, Brandon Kinzer. And guard, number and 23, Thomas, Brandon Carl Kinzer. Davis. Of course, Coach Carl Davis on the sidelines. Oh. And now for your Winnemac Warriors. And the Winnemac Warriors. Starting at guard, a 5'11 sophomore, number zero, Will. 
Number zero, Will Larkin. Number two, Sam Griffin. Number 21, Wilson Smith. And a center, six one junior, number 23, Austin Brandt. Center, number 23, Austin Brandt. And a guard for your orders, six one junior, number five, Calvin Larkin. And number five, Calvin Larkin. Now, Dakota, while I'm looking through these rosters, I see that uh, Hunter Shanelob has a four inch uh, height advantage right, over the Winnemac center. Snyder. So we'll see how that plays out in the, in the post and in the tip off. Hopefully he's got a secure spot there and can easily get uh, some easy two points for comments in the post. I'm really enjoying Winnemac, so I'm guessing it's like a lights out night or something like that tonight because they did that for the girls game too. I'm really enjoying it. And quite possibly that's what they do to introduce every game. I think if we had a spotlight sitting in the gym, we'd use it. Oh yeah, heck yeah. And also of note, I mean, I might not be that, you know, observant in some cases, but this is the first time I remember or recall seeing the number zero yes, being yes, used. Yes, yes, I picked that up too. It actually threw me a second. I was like, number zero. Will now, I wasn't. I wasn't a math major, but I think zero is technically not a number. All right, and the Warriors with that tip, so evidently that extra four inches didn't translate into that advantage. Warriors setting up. Trying to get in the post. Set Way down out. on the baseline. Clear up to the top of the key. Three point. And it's good. Early advantage to the Warriors. Double coverage. Kinzer and Lau trying to fight their way through. And the Warriors again using the same strategy that the Lady Warriors did of the full court press right out of the gate. We've seen it all season long though that the Comets don't perform well under heavy press coverage. So obviously a smart move on the part of the coaches. Hartman over to Lau. Lau looking to get to someone to get something moving. Gets it over to Shane Lob. And over to Rands. Over to Hartman. The mullet. <laughs> Trying to get something moving. Lau over to Kinzer. Kinzer with a little spin. Talk about putting it up, gave Couldn't it over to Rand. get past the defender with that, though. Shane Lobb surprisingly staying out of the post. Misses his pass over to Kenzer and gives it back to the Warriors. The Warriors taking it over to their side of the court. Taking a nice and easy pace getting back over to their side of the court. Open three. Traveled. That's going to be a no good ball. Looked good, scored, but you know, it doesn't count if you travel. Well, dropped in the basket, didn't score. Right. Would have scored. Rand's having a hard time getting it inbounds. Kinzer's got it. He's going to pull back a little bit, shake most of the defenders off. Lau going to cross the mid, give it back to Kinzer. Kinzer mm -hmm. getting over to Shane Lobb. The Warriors matching up on under. Under the Comets basket, they're matching that full court press with man to man coverage, too. And it's very effective. Kasten couldn't get that rebound. Winamac faking that three. Warriors driving base. Lob it up. Go for an easy jumper. No good. Over the back. That's going to put the possession back to the comments. That was number two, Sam Griffith. That's Rance. so easy to do when you're going up for that rebound, too. Oh, yeah. Kinzer lobbing it all the way over to Lau across the court. Double dribble. A lot of fast-paced action to kick it off, but really controlled, though, if I have to say. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty tight. Um, keep those fundamentals down. Good. Uh, Number zero throwing a nice. Wow. That was a solid deep three by what was that Will Larkin. 
And out of bounds on that inbound. Wyatt Brum at number three, substituting in for 33, Matt Rands. Wait. Mike Rands. Yep. Yeah, Matt Rands, he uh, graduated. He's still with us in spirit. <laughs> and the fact that his brother is playing basketball. All right. Warriors get on the rebound to go for two. Shane no good. Drawing that foul. Fouls on 13, Hunter Shanelob, and he sent 21, Wilson Smith, to the line. First shot, textbook. Second follow suit. Wow, getting it to Kinzer. Kins are making a nice sideline drive there. Gets it to the middle. Someone gets it to Hartman. Hartman sending it back over to Kinzer. Kinzer popping a three. Just off the mark. And Winamax number five there with that rebound. Kinzer stopping the heat, throwing it out of bounds. Good. Sometimes that's the best play you have is just. Yeah, if they're going, just get rid of it. Let them start over. And start they do. Warriors with a deep three. Larkin with a solid three, it's good. Wow, over to Brummett. Brummett with the double coverage, getting it out to Lau, then over to Kinzer. Kinzer now getting hit with the double coverage, trying to get, get out with it, popping up for two. Off the mark, Shane, Shane Lob on the rebound. rebound. Trying to go up. Goes and goes under, draws the foul. He's gonna go to the line for two. Foul was on number 23, Brant. That's his Brandt. first. First shot's up, it's off the front of the rim. We got a couple of substitutions. We got number three, Johnson, coming in for the Warriors, and number 33, Mike Rands, coming in for the Comets. Off the mark with that second shot, too. Warriors down to their court. Seeing some really nice help down here. Warriors score on that. Really nice help when it comes to uh, screen assistance. Unfortunately, weren't able to follow through with that. But. All right. Wow, to Kinzer. Kinzer send it over to Brummett. Now it's going to give it back to Kinzer. Trying to get something moving. Kinzer popping a jumper. Off the mark. And I see that we've got a 30 second timeout. So with that, we're gonna step away for 30 seconds and we're gonna catch a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, as the guys take the court, we're back. 
Warriors will take possession. And casually make the way, their way into their court. Warriors. Number zero there just about faked Lau out with that way deep pump fake. He's been on the outside of the arc, just trying to get something moving. Comet's working that 2-3 zone pretty well. Warriors keeping it into play, put it up for two. Yeah! And that was good. Two points. Kinzer, when we get all the way over to Lau, Lau popping a deep three. And it's Lau good. Lau gets the three. Lau puts the comments on the board. Warriors looking to return with a three of their own, couldn't quite get it. Shane Lobs on that rebound. Sends it over to Lau. Lau handing it over to Kinzer to cross the mid with. Kinzer looking for some options. It's over to Rands. Rand's gonna give it to Lau. Lau's gonna pop another deep three. That one's off the mark. I think his defender got a hand on that. From it, gets it back in. Unfortunately, to the hands of the Warriors. Warriors going for a drive. Yeah. That's good. And that's what a layup looks like. Lau and Rand's changing back and forth. Rand's giving it to Kinzer. Kinzer gonna send it back over to Rand's. Rand's gonna give it to Lau. Lau into heavy coverage. He's gonna give it back to Rand's. Looking for options, Rand sent it to Kinzer. Take it away, take it away! Kinzer trying to get something moving. If someone gets over to Shane Lob. Shane Lob back to Kinzer. Nice screen set. We have a pushing foul over here. I think that's gonna be on Warriors number three, Johnson. That's... Exactly what happened. Substitutions in on the floor. We've got number two and 23 coming in for the Warriors. And Brady Hartman, number 20, coming in for the Comets. Shane Lobb and Lau hand it back and forth. Lau going to give it over to Kinzer. Kinzer playing some drives. Trying to get into Lau. A bit of a mishap on that pass. They'll send it back over to the Warriors. They're going to take it back to their side of the court. For three. Off the mark, out of bounds. Or it might have been a pass. That angle could have been either way. End result's the same. Warriors letting off of the pressure there a little bit. Take it away, Greg, take it away! Kinzer now. Looking for some sort of opening. From it, making himself open. Get the ball, sends it back out to Kinzer. There's something moving. Kinzer getting it over to Shane Lobb. Yeah. Saw a foul called. I didn't see the foul happen. Foul was on number 20, Brady Hartman. Come up, time, number 20, Brady Hartman. Back into the warrior line. Zero, and number zero, Larkin. Will Larkin, substituting back in for the Warriors. Just under 50 seconds remain in this first quarter. Wow, time's been flying. I wasn't even paying attention to the clock. Means it's good basketball, Dakota. Good game, yeah. Warriors trying to get something set up. Pass almost went behind number two. He managed to get his hands on it. Zero, send into the post. Up for two. Off the mark. Rebound went wild, but the Warriors recovered it. Number zero with a three off the mark, and Hartman, Hartman with the rebound gets yanked out of his hands there by number 23, Austin Brandt. Player foul, number 23. That's his second. And we've got number 21, Wilson Smith, substituting in for Brandt. Comet ball. 
18 seconds to make something happen here. They get it nice and slow and make it the last play of the first quarter. Kinzer looking to make something move. Going for two. Just off the mark there. Now the Warriors now. Double Warriors dribble. with a double dribble. They're going to give it back to the Comets with exactly two seconds on the clock. Comets, I think, will be starting underneath their own basket, so they got to. The, really, the only play they have is to get it to the post and put up a short jumper. They might be trying to do that, getting into Shane Lob. Lose it and send it out. 0.9 seconds for the Warriors to get it in if all the they, way across the court. If they even waste stats on a on a buzzer beater, that'd be stupid with this kind of lead. Yeah. Well, let's see what they got. Oh, lob it all the way to number zero, and that's the end of the first. At least he didn't try to shoot it from just inside the <laughs> yeah. line. All right. Well, thanks for watching this first quarter with us. The teams are going to talk strategy, and we're going to hear a word here from our sponsors on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. The teams are still talking strategy. So my producer back in the studios asked me to mention this announcement that I was given at least one more time. Uh, the Winnemac High School is trying to reorganize a community pep band. This is something that's been done in the past. Um, and it doesn't matter who your alma mater was, uh, if you're interested, their goal is to play several patriotic songs immediately prior to the 4th of July fireworks this year. Um, they're planning on having one rehearsal per month. And if you're interested, you can reach out to the high school office here in Winnemac or the band director. All right, well, the action's back underway. The refs calling the shot no good, there was a foul. Didn't even get make the shot either way, so I mean, would have played out the same. Foul was on Luke Lau. Warriors. A set up. Dakota, I have a feeling that this game is going to be nearly as aggressive as the girls' game was just a little while ago. From what I've seen so far, I agree with you. Just keeping on the outside of the arc, trying to Thomas find working for a that 2-3 zone really well. That shot was off and it's out of bounds. That'll be Comet's ball. Number five for the Warriors was almost on top of his own rebound just <laughs> as soon as he threw it up. I used to use that strategy when I played 21. <laughs> Wasn't very good at it. <laughs> All right, ball into Hartman. Hartman getting back over to Lau. Lau in heavy coverage, needs some help over to Brummett. Brummett's gonna cross mid. He's going to... He's gonna Bad pass it. on that uh, attempt to Hartman. Just Defender had their arm out and all she wrote. Oh, they're calling that a foul. That looked like a travel to me, but... Well, uh, Brummett. <laughs> Once you're in the paint, though, calls can go about any way. There's True. probably an element of about everything in about every play underneath the basket. Well, there's been a timeout called. We're going to step away for just a moment. Come back and join us here on RTC TV. Welcome back. The guys are taking the hardwood.
Warriors joining the referee on the baseline. Take the ball out and get play started. Winamac. And way over the top. Open. Passing the ball around, looking for an opening. Just taking it nice and easy. Don't want to rush anything. Don't blame them. Looking for a drive. Send it back out to the arc. Lobbing it over the other side of the arc. Comet's doing a great job of getting over to the open man on the three-point line as he's receiving the pass. Popping open for three. Didn't quite make it there. That was number zero, Will Larkin. Stretching that Warriors lead out to 17. Lau getting over to Brummett. Brummett sending it back over to Lau. Lau looking for a, a play there. Gets it over to Kinzer, Kinzer. for a three. Hey. And that three's good. It's a three. three. Points. Brandon and Kinzer. And then Winnemack responding um, with an easy layup. Number five, Lark in there with that drive. Stripping that inbound away. Warriors are going to get the ball back right underneath their own basket. That three was off the mark. Rebound by Wyatt Brummett. Kenzer tries to drill it into Shane Laub, and that number 40, Desperate, gets in the way. Easy pass to a layup by the Warriors, getting another two on the board. Kenzer sending it over to Lau. Lau over to Brummett. And would you believe that there's less than three minutes down in this quarter with as much action as we've seen? Wow. Lau sending it back over to Brummett. Brummett getting over to Shane Lau to put up for two. That two's good. Undisputed two in the paint. Driving on the baseline, kicks it up to the top of the key. Thought about shooting it, he's gonna send it back to the post. I put it on the arc for a three. Yeah. three Jump. Man. Kinzer. Couple of solid three-point shooters out on the floor for Winnemac. As we get to Shane Lobb, Shane Lobb trying to bounce it into Brummett, couldn't quite get it. Comet just can't answer this defense. Number two, Griffiths with another easy layup. Brummett over to Kinzer. Slowing things down a little bit. Kinzer back over to Brummett. Brummett looking for some help, gets it over to Shane Lobb. Shane Law back over to Kinzer, popping up three real quick. Just off the mark. There's that number five, Larkin was driving in. Foul on Lau. I'm not sure that wasn't the best play there. All right, and we've got number 11, Mark Smith, and number 33, Mike Rands coming in. Also 22, Zane Scott. I think there was a substitution on the Warriors side too, but we just traded out a whole team's worth of players on the floor. Warriors. Rams. Nice block by Rands on that pass. Gets it over to Kinzer. Kinzer looking to drive. Got stripped as he's going into the paint. And then Hartman belly flops. Wow, and you, you can hear the home crowd they are static going about that. crazy in the background on our mics here. It, it doesn't help that the uh, press table is right <laughs> in the midst of a sea of Winnemag. Kinzer with that three in and out. And number two, Sam Griffith with that rebound. Going base for an easy two. Draws the foul. Basket's good by Wilson Smith. He'll go to the line for an and one. Foul was on 23, Brandon Kinzer. Shots up. Misses that and one. Number two, Griffith with that rebound. Send it back to the arc for a three-point attempt. 
And that three is good, just stretching that lead out. Calvin Larkin just murdering from the three-point line. Kenzer looking for someone to get open. Throw to Rands. Rands popping a three. Off the mark. Winnemack with that rebound. Gets him for two. 30 point lead now for the Warriors. Kinzer's calling the play on the floor, looking to make something happen. Gets over Rands. Rands driving baseline, kicks it over Scott. Off the mark on that three, just had too much behind it. The Warriors. Three Off attempts. the mark and Comets with the rebound there, that Mark Smith. Kenzer looking to drive, was up for two. Shot was no good, but it looks like he drew the foul. He should go to the line for two. Foul was on number three, foul, Tyson, number Johnson. Tyson Johnson. That's his second, team's, or team's fifth. Shot's good. And for the Man, zero and 24 in for the Warriors, and number 13, Hunter Shanelaub back in for the Comets. Second shot for Kinzer. Puts it up. That's good. That's the slow way to put points on the board. Comets now in double digits. With a minute 40 left in the half. Kinzer got into Shane Lobb, putting it up for, he had at least three guys go up after him. I think that foul there was on number zero. For your foul, Will Larkin. Yes, number zero, Will Larkin, puts Hunter on the line for two. First shot's good. That's the way they're supposed to look. And let's see if he can deny the Warriors a rebound chance. He Second does. Shot. There you go. Warriors taking to their side of the court. Looking for room to move on the arc. Gonna get something moving. They've got the lead though to, to take it slow and just wait for their shot. It's a smart move to play. Absolutely. Warriors trying to get into the post. Going to drive in, let's send it back out, trying to get someone open. Jumper. Popping a two, off the mark, and Hunter Shanelob with that rebound. Sends it over to Kinzer, Kinzer will cross the mid with it. Into double coverage. He needs help. It's over to Scott. Scott's feeling lucky. Just off the mark with that three-point attempt. And manages to recover the loose ball. That uh, was a scramble. However, the Warriors never claimed possession of that. They So the Commons just got hit with a backcourt violation. They were close to saving it. Right idea in mind, just a bit too far over the court. Correct. There's really... Basically, that was going to be the Warriors' ball either way, Dakota. Right, right. And number five, Calvin Larkin just holding it as the clock winds down. Really, they it's the best play they have. Get it down into sub-10 seconds, take the shot, and leave the comments with no play time. Honestly, it doesn't matter to the Warriors if they put any more points on the board this half. See, he's going to pop a deep three. Just off the mark, but there's not time to do anything with it. Shane Laub lobbing it <laughs> after the buzzer and had some stank on that. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, your halftime score tonight, Winnemac Warriors 38, Casting Comets 12. We're going to step away here for a word from our sponsors, and it looks like we're going to have some goings on on the floor. Uh, we, we probably will be able to bring that to you and let you know what's going on. 
We'll be right back. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Is he sitting down because I don't see him? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are still ourselves trying to see exactly what's going on. Um, the flow arrangements for this year's King and Queen Kennedy is responsible. Here we go. For, Looks like for they've got a, uh, a court of some sort to First introduce. For Snow Kelly and King candidates, we have Tanner Button, escorted by his mom, Brenda Walters. <laughs> Tanner's activities in high school baseball for four years, FFA for one year. Tanner plans to attend Purdue and major in civil engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanner Button. <laughs> Next we have Torin Garbison. Torin is escorted by his parents, Matt and Lynn Garbison. In high school, Torin was an FCA, football, the tree committee, another baseball team. His future plans are to major in ministry at Olivet Nazarene University. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Torin Garberson. <laughs> Next we have Mr. Logan Hugler. He is escorted by his parents, Alan and Nancy Hugler. In high school, Logan has played on the basketball team two years, golf, four years, National Honor Society, two years, FFA, Forestry Team, Drama Club, and FCA. His future plans are to attend college and study business. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Logan Hugler. <laughs> Next up, we have Ricky Stoll. Ricky is escorted by his mom, Jackie Stoll, and his grandma, Kathy Stoll. His activities in high school were basketball, baseball, and FFA. His future plans are to go to college for business. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ricky Stoll. Next we have Mr. Jet Terry. Jet is escorted by his parents, Jimmy and Tara Terry. His activities in high school were drama four years, track four years, SAG for four years, student council four years, key club four years, athletic leadership council two years, FPS for two years. Jet plans to attend Purdue and major in acting and minor in political science. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jet Terry. Mr. Ben Watts. Ben is escorted by his parents, Stephanie and Chad Watts. His activities in high school are FCA for four years, FFA for four years, football four years, National Honor Society for two years. Ben wants to attend Purdue and major in agribusiness. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ben Watts. This year's Snow Kelly King is Ricky Stoll. I'm not sure you can hear that at home. Ricky Stoll has just been count, crowned Snow Coming King this year.
don't know if they've looked at the forecast. The snow came. Yeah, and it's currently in the process of being gone. As far as the weather's concerned. Then again, this is Indiana. Correct. We, we've seen negative 15, 60, no, and six inches of snow twice mm -hmm. within First three weeks. Up, we have Miss Emma Eldridge. Emma's escorted by her parents, Mary and Larry Eldridge. Her activities in high school included student council for four years, National Honor Society for two years, SAD four years, Sunshine Society four years, Heat Club four years, FCA four years, FPS four years, Girls Basketball Manager four years, and Softball Manager two years. Her future plans are to, to attend college and study corporate law. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emma Eldridge. Next we have Miss Haley Fox. Haley is escorted by our parents, Carol and Angie Fox. Her activities in high school are Sunshine Society four years, SAD one year, Student Council two years, National Honor Society two years, Athletic Leadership Council for two years, Volleyball three years, Track and Field four years, Cross Country one year, and Cheerleading one year. Her future plans are to major in nursing at University of Indianapolis. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Haley Fox. Next was supposed to be Mandy Hedinger. Mandy is at home with 101 temperature, so we all wish her a speedy recovery. Next we have Ms. Allison Keller. Allison is escorted by her parents, Bob and Jenny. Her activities in high school were Sunshine Society for four years, FFA for four years, National Honor Society one year, Key Club one year, basketball two years. Her, fu her future plans are to attend college and study nursing or respiratory therapy. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Allison Keller. Next, we have Miss Emily Kestel. <laughs> Emily is escorted by her mom, Dina, and her sister, Maggie Hirschman. Her activities in high school were basketball three years, golf three years, baseball manager two years, cheerleading one year, FFA four years, student council four years, Sunshine Society four years, Key Club four years, SAD two years. Her future plans are to attend college and study to become a nurse practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emily Kestel. <laughs> this year's snow coming queen is Miss Emma Aldridge. And Miss Emma Aldridge was just crowned snow coming queen. Congratulations, Emma. Congratulations on the candidates. And I do apologize, we're on the wrong side of the floor for, to see their faces. And as long as we're talking about local interest pieces, if you've enjoyed the orchestral stylings you've been hearing in the background, that is once again the Winnemac High School Pep Band. And the band director is working on putting together a community pep band. Uh, regardless of who your alma mater was, if you're interested, feel free to contact the Winnemac High School office or the Winnemac High School band director for more information. They intend to meet together to practice once a month and play several patriotic pieces before the Winnemac Community Fireworks on the 4th of July. Now, I might be biased myself, but I really enjoyed pep band in high school, so I think it's really cool that they're going to do a, like a community pep band kind of thing, get together for Winnemac. So what you're saying is you're going to stop by the office and get a card before we leave? Maybe. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have about five minutes left during halftime, so I think that Dakota and I are take a quick break here. 
get ourselves refreshed so we can bring you the action in the second half. Stay tuned here on RTC TV4. All right, ladies and gentlemen, teams are back out of the locker rooms. Clock winding down to start off this second half here. If you're just joining us, you can see from the scoreboard it's been a fairly one-sided ball game tonight, but there has been no lack of action on the floor. True. I've lost track of time just getting so uh, distracted by the action. It's quick pace back and forth. It's, it's fun to follow along, even if it's not exactly going our way. At the it, moment. Exactly, exactly. There's, there's something to be said for watching exciting basketball. There's something more to be said for watching exciting basketball that your team is winning. So needless to say, this home crowd has been very ecstatic as the gameplay has unfolded tonight. For sure. Well, speaking of the home team, the Warriors will start the second half with possession. And the second half's underway. Warriors and into the post, send it back out to the arc for a three. In and out. They Looks get, like they'll get another chance at that, though. Gonna pop another three. Just off the close side of the rim. Ooh. All sorts of impacts down there under the basket. Let's see which one the ref called. Calling a foul on Mike Rand. That's his first, team first in the half. The Warriors will restart these attempts. Again, we've got both number five, Calvin Larkin, and number zero, Will Larkin. On the court, both of them dangerous from the three-point territory. Definitely have to keep an eye on them for the comments on the defense. Come up, foul number four, Luke Lau. Foul there on number four, Luke Lau, his third. It's quick to put fouls on the board starting off this third quarter. I was afraid for a second there you were going to say third half. And I was like... <laughs> Scoreboard says we're not going into going into double overtime tonight. No. Nah. Thinking not. Warriors sending it out to the arc, trying to drive base. Trying to get it back out to the arc. Lost Mike Rands. control of it. Rand's got a hold of it. There you go. Giving it over to Kinzer to cross mid with. Kinzer getting over to Hartman. Hartman sent back to Rands. He thought about putting up that three. Warriors starting this half playing a little bit more of a 2-3 zone rather than the man-to-man -man coverage that they worked in the first half. So we've got a... Oh, look like a quick aside out on the court. Turns out that's a full timeout. So we're going to take a step away from the non-action for a couple words from our sponsors. Join us again here in a minute on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. And we're back just as the ball goes into play. Wow, crossing mid for the Comets, bringing it into their territory. Cuts it into Rands. Looked like Rands almost lost that pass, but he was able to maintain control and not get it stripped critically. Wow, sending it over to Kinzer. Kinzer trying to get in. Shane Lobby he does. Shane Lobb uh, just loses control of it, gives oh, yeah. it back over to the Warriors. Quick to put it up for three. Larkin's in and out. Shane Love getting in on that it. Was a mess down on the 
floor. Kenzer's trying to tell the ref it's ours. The ref says no, it's staying here. Warriors seem to be looking for open threes most of the time. With as much of a lead as they have, they can kind of showboat. And let's face it, every time they hit a three like this, yeah. Larkin's oh, open at the oh, line. Oh, Comets just, they can't do that. I mean, they did do that, so obviously they can, but. They shouldn't. <laughs> no, no, neither one of those Larkins. Lau with a three, just off the far edge of the rim. Hartman, Hartman getting that rebound. Hartman getting over to Kinzer. Kinzer trying to get something moving for his team. Sends it over to Rands. Almost got it intercepted there on that pass. And giving it back to Kinzer to pop a three. Just off the far side of the rim, Mike Lowes. Larkin's losing that as he tries to go behind the back. Comets will get the ball back, and we have a number three, Tyson Johnson, in coming in for number two, Sam Griffith. Johnson. Loud to check it back in for the Comets. We'll get it over to Kinzer. They're looking to get it over to Lau. Lau sending it into Rands. Rand. He's going to send it back over to Lau. And then back to Rands. Trying to get something moving. Rands going. Got, got swatted. Stuffed. Got stuffed as he went in for that layup. All right. Warriors now passing around the three point arc. Been around the outside, taking their time as they should. Uh, it's it's time for the comments to break that zone. I, I feel like I number one oop, shot was off the mark. Number one, the Warriors have proven that they're dangerous from the three point arc, so there's no sense in keeping them outside. Larkin's firing in that three again, and it's good. That's number zero, Will Larkin. So just proving my point right there. Number two. With a 32-point deficit, you don't stay in your zone and just let the other team burn down the clock. Yeah. Got to apply pressure. I'm not one to second-guess Coach Davis, but I guess I'm second-guessing Coach Davis here. Right. Kinzer heading off to Rands, trying to get anything moving. Rands getting into Shane Lobb. Ah, misses from the post but gets his own rebound, draws the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. I think that foul there was on number 23, Brandt. It indeed was. That's his third. Team first for the for the half. Shane puts up the first one. It looks good. And we've got Wyatt Brummett subbing in for 33. Mike Rands, number 40, despot on the Warriors side. I'm not mistaken, Shane Lobb's 100% for this match. He is. Second shot. And it's good as well. As a matter of fact, Shane Lobb is responsible for nearly half of the Comets 14 points from the free throw line alone tonight. Solid. He's been to the line three times. He's made six buckets. All right. Comet's coming all the way to the three-point line now. Diving in. Larkin's Ooh, driving that was a it, nice dishes pass. it off. Shot was no good. Comet's with that rebound. Able to get a hold of it. All right. That loose ball bounced there for a full two seconds. I know it did. <laughs> wow, looking for someone open. Defenders coming out to challenge him. And that's what I'm talking about, breaking his own. Kinzer now. Kinzer into heavy coverage. Gets it over to Hartman. Over to Brummett. Brummett sending it back to Kinzer. You know that two-handed behind the head fake there that Brummett did, it can work, but somebody can also come behind you and strip it. You've got no strength back there. True. You just gotta be pay attention to your surroundings and know when to pull it. Absolutely. Kinzer giving over to Brummett. Brummett. 
I think he was looking for Shane Lobb, but wasn't too sure where he was at. Kinzer got a hand on that, but it was no good. Just kicked it over to Calvin Larkin, who drove it in for that layup. Stretching the, the Warriors' lead even further. Kinzer over to Hartman. Hartman throwing an elbow there as his defender's kind of getting a little hands-on. Kinzer for three. In and out. Larkin with the rebound. Kick it over. Baseline drive, no good. He had two guys going for the same ball. Larkin with that three. That's the three. Had time to just set it up like a free throw from that three-point line. A couple of substitutions on the Winamax side. Numbers four and number two going in for 21 and zero. That's Sam Griffith and Ryan Hugler. Announcer said Higler. Roster says Hugler. I don't know. We've also got Zane Scott coming in for Wyatt Brumman on the comment side. And play resuming. Warriors have dropped back that full court press. At least for the time being. Kinzer getting over to Hartman. Hartman. I think looking for Shane Lobb. We're going to count Counted out on the Warriors, giving it back to the Comets. Or vice versa, and I might have seen it wrong. No, I'm right. No, uh, I'm wrong. I thought that's what the ref said, but he's handing it I off to I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Number 40, Carson Despot. He came down hard on that elbow, trying to get a hold of that ball before it went out. I was kind of thinking it was out on him. Warriors now looking to get some more points going. Out to the three-point line. One half of that dangerous duo, the Larkins. I'm gonna guess brothers. I, I could, I'm assuming there's a relation in there somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely, but one half of them out of the game right now. Might make the Warriors slightly less dangerous from the three-point line. But Larkins. Yeah, fighting for the rebound, couldn't get on it. Larkins actually, he missed that one. Thought he was gonna get a chance at another one. Into double coverage right on the baseline. Pass was bad, went to Lau, trying to get it back. Challenging Lau all the way to the half court line. Lau gets it over to Kinzer. Kinzer sending it over to Shane Lau, get a hold of it, get across the mid. Kinzer now. 30 seconds left in this quarter. Kinzer sending it over to Scott. Scott taking that three. They it's got good. It. 20 seconds now in the quarter. Winamax gonna or is Winamax gonna go for it or are they going all the way to out of base? Nope, they're gonna go out of bounds. <laughs> now, whether they wanted to or not, they're out of bounds, so I guess they can't. The, my question was, and Mike Rand's back in for the comments, by the way. Question was, does Winamax go for it or just hold for the fourth? Looks like they were gonna go for it and messed up the attempt. Kinzer with 10 seconds. Less than that now. Trying to get something moving. Little spin up for it. two. Off. And that's the quarter, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, once again, this quarter has been all Winamac. We're going to see how the fourth goes here in a few minutes. Come back and join us after this word from our sponsors. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, teams are still on the sideline talking strategy. I feel like Winamax strategy is keep doing what you're doing, guys. Yeah, don't change anything at all. Comment strategy is 
you got to fix this. Six, three, six, <laughs> We're down eight, 32 seven. points. I would repeat the uh, game winning game time. ball six, ticket, three, six, uh, eight, but I don't think it matters seven, for our viewers at home. Because I wouldn't think so. If you're not here, you don't get to participate, practically. You wouldn't be watching right now. So. And then you wouldn't be treated to the sultry sounds of our voices. Of course, of course. National treasure, our voices are. <laughs> something like that. All right. Kins are into Rands. Rands looking to do something with it. Gets it into the big man at the post. Shane Law misses the first shot, gets the second shot, and draws the foul. He, he's doing good on getting on his rebounds. He's done that twice now, but I'm a little bit worried Absolutely. on how he's missing the first shot when he gets in there. Right. Well, that That's foul good. was on uh, number four, Hugler. Second, or the shot's up, and he gets three off of that play. There you go, Shane Lobb. I think that was the way to do it then. All right. What a Mac. Once again, number zero, Will Larkin back in play. Number five, Calvin Larkin not in starting this fourth quarter. Looking for three. Number three, way off from the three-point line. Ball is out of bounds. They're calling it out on casting. I think that's the first time I've seen Winnemag throw an air ball for a three in this game. Once again, number five, Calvin Larkin on the bench. The Speaking of the bench, number 11, Mark Smith coming in off the bench for number 33, Mike Rands. We got a timeout. The timeout gives us time to hear from our sponsors. We'll be right back on RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Players taking the floor. Warriors will start off with the ball. Ball in play. Three attempt. And it's good. Why do I even say attempt anymore? <laughs> Yeah, if it's one of the Larkins shooting from the three, well, we did see Calvin Larkin miss one three-pointer tonight. I'm really hoping there's, uh, if they are brothers or related in any way, there's some kind of family rivalry going on there between the two of them and threes. Actually, I kind of hope after all this that they're not related and it's just... Nice jumper by Kinzer, Kinzer for two. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping they're not related and it's just some random happenstance that there's two Larkins families <laughs> that happen to be phenomenal at basketball. All right. Winnemac passing it around, just taking their time, looking for their opportunity. They got it. Oh. Nope. Wow. Kinzer was right on that. So close. I went over to the other side of the arc. There it is. There's a it's two. Good. It's a two. That, that was, was a long two. Enough. It was. He didn't check his footing. He wanted three. He didn't check his footing. <laughs> Regardless, it's still a 32-point deficit for the Comets. Scott has got the ball. Going to give it over to Lau. I was going to send it over to Kinzer. Kinzer's going to pop a three right in his eye. Nope. Just off the mark. Hit the front of that rim. The Warriors. Looks like Kinzer didn't recalibrate his wrist for the elevation change coming over to Winnemag. Yeah. That was a nice, nice shot. Somebody's probably going to email us and point out that you know after the glaciers rolled over, there is no elevation change in northern Indiana. That's <laughs> 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 
Looks like that shot was good, and he's going to get the chance for the end one. We got Foul was on Zane Scott, number 22. We got number 20, Brady Hartman, number three, Wyatt Brummett coming in for Zane Scott and Mark Smith. And the second half of that dangerous duo, Calvin Larkin back in for the Winnipeg Warriors. Shot was good. Makes that a three-point play. The Warriors have pulled off that pressure. Defense instead going to meet Kinzer right at the line as he crosses. Kinzer getting over to Brummett. Brummett sending over to Lau. Lau in heavy coverage. I'll give it over to Kinzer. Kinzer, Kinzer. Oh, Whoa. trip on that drive attempt. Hartman. Got his feet tied up. Out on the Warriors. That's right, there was just excess sweat on the floor. We, all, we would all slip on that. <laughs> makes, me, makes me think of last Saturday when the, uh, oh, when the opposing coach went out there and was mopping yeah. up. <laughs> Good grief. Brummett. Looking to get into Shane Law, maybe. That was a double dribble. I think he forgot that he had dribbled yeah. already. <laughs> uh, that, well, that was... Into the Warrior line now. Number 40, Carson Despot. Man, number 40, Carson Despot coming back in for the Warriors. I think our viewers at home saw that double dribble without the assistance of the camera. That was so obvious. Yeah. All right. Ooh, bad pass. Bad pass on the part of the Warriors. Comets will get possession back. Kins are looking to the sideline, seeing what Coach Davis wants for the play. He's going to take it in. He's going to to Brummett. Brummett's going for three. Off the front of the rim, right into the waiting arms of the Winnemac Warriors. Warriors a bit ahead on their pass, but they're able to catch up to it. They're popping a three. Left to Larkin, open on the line for a three. They make them when they're not open. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> Kinzer now gonna get into Shane Lob. Shane Lob sending it back over to Kinzer. Kinzer trying to get something set up, gets it over to Hartman. Hartman to Lau. Oh, uh, he's gonna send it over to Brummett. Rummett, in the back over to Lau. Over to Kinzer, trying to get something moving, if anything. Kinzer now, driving in, go for two. Off the mark. Less than four minutes left in this game now. Warriors driving in for two. It is on the mark. Well, that was Larkin making the two. What, what, what are you doing? You're, you're a three-point shooter. What are you doing going for two? That, uh, I don't know. He's, he's been pretty dominant in the lane, too. Uh, just all-around ball player there. Kinzer with an open three. three off the mark. Winamax number 23, Brant with that rebound. And Larkin's, Will Larkin's off the mark with that three-point attempt. Oh, Ooh. Shane Lob. Ooh. That was, they might, I don't know what they're going to call this. They might call that a flagrant. Ooh. Right into the big guy's arms. He couldn't help but throw him down. In for the Warriors, Danny Cassidy. Numbers 4, 24, and 3 in for Ryan Winnemag. Hugler. That's Daniel Caston, Ryan Hugler, and Tyson Johnson in. And I don't see a foul on the board there for Shane Lobb, so evidently they just called that that jump ball. Yeah, knowing Shane Lobb, he wouldn't do anything on purpose. That, that big guy wouldn't hurt a fly. He's all heart. And height. And height, yeah, definitely height. All right. Winnemack looking for an opportunity. Trying to find an open three or something. Both Larkins off the floor now. You might see fewer threes. Trying to get into the post. Double coverage. A 
foul. Foul number 40. Carson Despot. Offensive foul there. Mike Rance coming in for Brandon Kenzer. Wow, and it over to Hartman. Hartman oh, trying to get into Shane Lobb. Pass was intercepted. That was a smart play there by Carson Despot. He, he knew he couldn't control it, so he flung it behind his back to bounce it off of Hunter Shane Lobb. Good situational awareness. Absolutely. And Mark Smith in now, substituting for Brady Hartman for the cast and comments. Forty-point ball game here with just over two minutes left in the game. Three-point attempt, Warriors. On the mark there for number four, Ryan Hugger. Three points, Ryan Hugler. Maybe that's Hugler's. Or is that what they're saying? Hugler, I think. Rands trying to get it up to Shane Lob. Shane Lob loses control. Tries to take a shot from behind the basket. Draws the foul. That was a nice lean back look. I think he was, was. going to lay that right in. Foul there on number 40, I think, is what the ref said. Foul, yes, Carson, Carson Despot. Despot. All right, let's see if Shane Lobb can, yes, continuing the trend. 100% all game. Good Woo! Lord. I, I, I lost it there. I didn't see all the substitutions. And I know I, we had five players in, three for the Warriors and two for the Comets. And I see a couple more Comets substitutions queuing up here. We've got number 21. That is... Uh, well, that's a brain fart. That's what that is. All right, Shane Lobb good on his last shot. Noah Colvin. I knew I'd come up with that. Warriors. Also see Cameron Klein's in on the floor. I think we got our cast and JV team. That could well be, getting some floor time. I see Brady Mills in there. Give or take Mark Smith, because he plays for varsity quite frequently. Correct, correct. All right, baseline drive for the Warriors. He's trying to go up. He's going to get two from the line. Foul there was on number 10. That would be Levi Lau. Shots off the back. Looked like he was going to get a lucky bounce off that for a second. Heck, Blair, I think we got both JV teams in right now. That could be. Now looking at the numbers. Second shot's good. 70 seconds left in the ballgame. 42-point game advantage, Winnemac Warriors. Klein, in order to allow. Well, we had a foul on the play. Foul was on number three, Tyson Johnson. Johnson. You realize 62 seconds left in the game and neither team is putting other the other team on the line with fouls. Look at that. Huh. Oh, Brady Mills is with three. three. It's off the mark. Out of bounds off of Winamax number four, Ryan Hugler. They have several players on both squads as well. Yeah, they do. Number 20 jumping up to fix the net for the, <laughs> the Warriors. Cameron Klein looking to check it in. Having a hard time finding a target. Colvin getting it. Swiped away there by Winamax number 32, Keith Dell. So Mills getting a hand in on that pass. Nice. Out to Smith. Oh, Smith with a bad pass there. 
And missed the layup for the Warriors. This is just a... I don't even know how to call that. That was... Wow. <laughs> Well, the ref knew how to call it. He says that's yeah. Comet's ball. It's all over the place, man, all over the place. Well, and we're clear on the other side of the court from the action, too, so. True, true. Have mercy. Lau with the ball. Looking to get it, somebody. Trying to get to Colvin. Able to keep a hold of it. Winnemack, just aggressive tonight. Colvin passing it to the sixth man, I think. There, there was nobody at the other end of that pass. If this was football, I think that would have been intentional grounding. 18 seconds left as the clock winds down. Warriors. Might as well wind it down to one last play, man. Going for a three. And it's good. Number 40, Ryan, or number four, Ryan Hugler. That's and the day. that's the ball game. Devastating loss for the cast of Comets. Winnemac triumphing 69 to 24. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Blair Zimmerman. And I'm Dakota Hayden. Join us next time on RTC TV4. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And if you're watching this on a replay, thanks for watching in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Cheap furniture. Nice game system. New job. Steady girlfriend. Wedding. Dog that serves as a practice child. Little kid. Little kids. Oh. Big kids. Big changes. <laughs> so, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or covered too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood.